हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन दैट इज फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड आईटी स्टूडेंट्स द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज इम्प्रेसिव वेब डिजाइनिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू सी द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स सो वी हैव टेन फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स इन टोटल सो द फर्स्ट फिलिंग द ब्लैंक इज द डैश एलिमेंट इज द स्टेरिंग एलिमेंट इन द एच टी एम एल इट इंडिकेट्स that document type definition being used by the document so what will be the answer for this that how do you understand that this particular is a uh, program is an html program and it indicates a document type definition so the right answer for this is question number i'll write here lesson 1 impressive no it's advanced web designing advanced web designing so this is question 1 fill in the blanks so we'll start with the first answer so the first answer here is doc type HTML. So basically, whatever we write before starting the program, so it's doc type HTML. Okay. Now the next second answer is the dash. So we'll go for the second is the dash is a tag in HTML that describes some aspects of contents of the web page. So basically, some aspects of the content of the web page is described. through your meta tag so the answer will be meta tag you can also write it like in an angular bracket like meta so this can be your answer next is the ol tag defines and dash so basically ol means o for ordered and l for list so it is ordered list next is the unordered list created using dash tag so basically the unordered list is always created using the ul tag that is u for unordered and l for list that is ul tag next is the dash element creates an inline frame so this the answer for this is to create an inline frame we use i frame that's i for inline and then it's a frame next question dash tag is used to specify a video on an html document so whenever you want to make an video program you require a video tag for it so it's a video so the spelling for it is video okay next question if a web developer wants to add the description to an image he must use dash attribute for image tag so basically uh for image tag whenever we want to give any type of description we are going to use alt attribute that is alt so this is the attribute for it next is eighth question the dash property is used to set the positions for an element so basically to set any position you have to place a position property next question the float property defines the dash of the content so basically if you want to uh, give a flow to your content then you are using the float property so the answer is flow next question dash is used with elements that overlap with each other so basically uh, for the elements to overlap with each other we use the positioning tag or we can use the float tag so all this comes in your css properties so the answer for this will be css means whatever you are learning that comes in css properties okay so this is your first exercise for oh, so the second question is based on true or false that is question number 2 okay so it's based on true or false so let us see the true or false part So the first question for true or false is HTML is an object oriented programming language. So basically HTML is not object oriented it is a web de designing language. So it is a false answer. Okay. 
then the second question is caracet is used for character encoding declaration so this is true basically caracet is used for character encoding and char means character so the answer is true next is an unordered list can be numerical or alphabetical so this is false the ordered list is numerical or alphabetical and unordered list consist of bullets next is multi level list can be created in html5 yes you can create different different levels by with the help of nesting so yes it is true you can create the levels of uh, nesting with the help of nesting your list next is src specifies the html content of the page to show in the iframe so this is false src code it's not src code it is src doc so this is false it should be src doc specifies the html content so because of that it's false now let let us come down so next is the control attribute is not used to add play pause and volume so this is false control is used basically to uh, take the controls like play pause and volume controls last is dot css is the extension of css file so this is false we save almost all the files with the help of dot uh, html only in the case of external we are using dot css extension that is dot c double s not dot c single s so because of that it is false so let us go ahead with mcq with one correct answer so mcq with one option so let us start with the first one so the answer for first is dash element is used to create linking image so for this the right answer is if it was only image then answer is img but here we it has said that linking the image so the answer is map okay answer is map tag next question the dash tag is used to embed the audio files on web page so if you want to embed any type of audio file you require the audio tag you don't require the embed tag the right answer is audio tag so here the answer is audio tag okay next answer so the next question is the programmer wants to define range of age between 18 to 50 so he will use a form for following appropriate control so basically if you want to give any type of range then you require <coughs> a range option okay so in that you can give the range from where till where you want to specify the specific range next is dash character is used to create an id in css so here we don't use percent we don't use uh, at the rate we don't use dollar only hashtag is the right answer because basically we use hashtag for the id purpose we use star for universal purpose so we don't use other special characters in this now we'll come across mcq with two options okay so it's mcq with two options so let us do the first one so choose the two correct answers from the given option so here is the first question list with another list either list or dash list is called as what nested list so here the answer is list with ordered as well as unordered list so the right answer here is ordered ordered comma un ordered so co combination of both the list together is going to prepare a nested list next is image maps are of two types dash and dash so basically the image map is of two types one is client side and the second is server side so the right answer is client side and server side okay so this is the answer so let us go further for third one 
the css rule set contains of dash and dash so basically we have seen the syntax for css css consists of one selector and a declaration block so here the right answer is selector selector and declaration so this is the right answer for it okay so let's go ahead so the next question is question no it's uh, we are having one more question ahead so client side image map so the client side image map can be created using two elements dash and dash so basically the answer for this will be area and image uh, area and map so the right answer is area and map so i'll just take it here fourth one so it's area and map okay so let's go further for question 5 that is mcq with three option so it's mcq with three option first one so let us see choose the three correct answers from the given option attributes of area tag is dash so basically here uh, the right answer is href href quotes and alt so i'll write the answer here for you that is href href quotes and alt okay so these are the three options next next option is attributes used in iframes are so the answers are src doc then answer is name and then it's src so these are the attributes so here you can write src doc then name and then src so these are the attributes let us go further for question 3 following are the form controls so which are the form controls we'll see here so the form controls are email so this is very first topic of this chapter then we have tell and then we have search so these are your form controls i'll just write it down email tell and search so these are your form controls now question uh, question number 4 so which are the attributes used in audio tag so the attributes in audio tag are autoplay controls and loop so these are the attributes let's write them quickly so they are autoplay controls and loop so these are the attributes of your audio tags which you set so let's go for the next question css types are so the options are internal external and inline so these are the three correct answers so we'll write it internal external and inline so these are the options go will go further for the sixth one so here the sixth question is positioning type in css are so the positioning types in css are static fixed and absolute so the right answer is static fixed and absolute okay next question is types of floating properties so the types are right left and none so these are the types so the seventh answer is right left and none okay so now we'll go ahead with uh, match the pairs so in the match the pairs you have ul so the ul's answer will be bulleted list the answer for ul is bulleted list then you have use map the answer for use map is client side image mapping then color so the color is your css property color is your css property img tag 
so the img tag is the inserting image and input img is the